Here we'll examine the acid-base equilibrium that results when we mix two salts that have amphiprotic anions. We're given that the salt potassium hydrogen sulfite, KHSO3, is mixed with the salt sodium monohydrogen phosphate, Na2HPO4. And we're asked to complete the equation for the equilibrium that is established. We begin by taking the salt KHSO3 and writing the dissociation equation for it. It dissociates into K plus and HSO3 minus. K plus, an alkali metal cation, is a spectator ion, so we can eliminate it. And all we're left with is HSO3 minus. Now we take the other salt, Na2HPO4, and write its dissociation equation. It dissociates into 2Na plus and HPO4 2 minus, the monohydrogen phosphate ion. The Na plus ion, another alkali metal cation, is a spectator ion, so we eliminate that, leaving us with only the monohydrogen phosphate ion. So we'll move these two ions so they become reactants in a new equilibrium equation. We look up the HSO3 minus on the acid table we see that it is on both sides of the table. So HSO3- minus is amphiprotic. It can act as an acid or as a base. So we'll jot that down here. Now we'll find HPO4-2- minus on the table. We see that it is also on both sides of the table. So we can say that HPO4-2- minus is amphiprotic, which we'll make a note of here. Because these are both amphiprotic, we now have to determine which one will play the role of the acid. To do this, we compare their strengths on the acid table. We see that HSO3- minus is above HPO4-2- minus on the left side of the table. So HSO3- minus is a stronger acid than HPO4-2-. Minus. Therefore, HSO3- minus will act as the acid on the left side. And the HPO4-2- minus will have to act as the base on the left side. The acid will donate a proton to the base. When HSO3- minus loses a proton, it forms SO3-2-, minus, the sulfite ion. And when HPO4-2- minus gains a proton, it forms H2PO4-, minus, the dihydrogen phosphate ion. So now we've answered the first question. This is the equilibrium equation for this reaction. The next question we're asked is whether the reactants or products are favored at equilibrium. To answer this, we start by identifying the acids on the left side and the right side. Remember the acid on the left side is HSO3-. Minus. To find the acid on the right, we consider the reverse reaction. In the reverse reaction, H2PO4- minus loses one proton as it forms HPO4-2-. Minus. Therefore, H2PO4- minus is the acid on the right side. Now we check these two acids on the left side of the acid table to determine which one is stronger and which one is weaker. We see that HSO3- minus is above H2PO4- minus on the left side of the table. So HSO3- minus is the stronger acid, and H2PO4- minus is the weaker acid, which we'll make a note of here in the equation. Remember that equilibrium will always favor the side with the weaker acid. And in this reaction, the products have the weaker acid, so equilibrium favors the products in this reaction. We've now answered the second question. Equilibrium favors the products in this case. The third question we're asked is whether the value of Kq for this reaction is less than 1 or greater than 1. We have determined that equilibrium favors the products in this reaction, which means we have a greater amount of products than reactants at equilibrium. So Kq, which is a ratio of products to reactants, is given by this expression. And because equilibrium favors the products, the numerator is larger than the denominator. So the value of Kq for this reaction is greater than 1. And now we've answered the third question. Kq is greater than 1.